See the asylum? Now puts them all in big houses. What world is that? That world was... The one that was causing problems was uh, San Sequoia. Or no, Copperdale. It's Copperdale. Um... Which house were you talking about? The one that you saw in here? This is where I put... This is a save that I put all of my uh, multi-family builds in. But I realized the other day that I forgot one. Hashtag... I found oh it's gonna do all of them so let's do this view catalog let's see if it'll find it if I do this because it's an older one of mine you find the older ones? It's not gonna do it. Maybe it's in my library? Is that I'm going to have to... Oh, I don't really want to try to load up the whole... thing, because it's not sand smelling seafood it's way before that um, oh, doo -doo 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 -doo. there's the labyrinth um, where's that community center um, there's all the little gnome parts, which I still need to go through and delete. Um, more gnome parts. This was a really cool build. Um, I think I'm getting closer to it. Medieval castle. The it was before the junk stuff. Here's the space station. I think it's still before this. No, that's day two. Day four. So it should be up here. There it is. on the 40 by 30. 
Which one is it, though? I think it's refinery. I mean, I'm gonna have to go check, but I think this is the lot it's supposed to go on. over a lot I built quite a while ago that I think would actually work for an apartment building. Because it's got this whole bed and breakfast area. But it's got separate apartments. This is one over here. This is another one. Then these are like bed and breakfast rooms, which could be updated. And then there is this whole top floor that's an apartment. So there's one, two, there's three finished apartments. And then I could redo these guys. Because I originally designed it as a bed breakfast. However, I don't see why I can't redo this to f match. This was actually a build I did for a competition. Way back when. Because this is all separate. This is all separate. Now you can go make some soup. Well, enjoy your soup. This is like the community area. The only thing I would have to do to make this appropriate for apartments is change this. Because I have one, two, three, four, five. I would need two more. Yeah, this could be done. could definitely be turned into an apartment building. Especially if I turn this into two apartments. I could certainly do. Especially if I move this up a floor.
Let's get me my two here for right now. Oh. oh, that's not helpful. This, give me a ceiling. Move to there. This, give me a ceiling. Move you to there. Move here. Move you to there. Oops. There we go. Down one. This. Up here. Alright. So now what I want to do is move this to here and down a floor oh copy this there. <laughs> Let's copy this up here. And let's get rid of these items. this over here. Move all this stuff into this room. Oh, it does fit there. Okay. Let's move this to there. Get rid of that.
this here Do that This copy to here. over that wasn't what I wanted to do all right this copy This room needs to be cleared out. Oops. And then I need this over here. Okay. 
this. Copy. Copy. That's a ceiling. I don't know how these ceilings got forgotten, but that's okay. This probably needs one too. Michelle, welcome in. Hello, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I am upgrading a B&B &B I built a long time ago and designing it for apartments. So... This is a full two-bedroom apartment here. This is a, like, one bedroom, and then up top there's another two bedroom here, and then these were designed as B&B &B rooms. There was, a B there was a room here, room here, here, and here, but what I did is I split them into two levels, and I took out this so I can put in a kitchen for them. So they would each have their own, like, kitchen area. And then up here, need to finish putting in these. So this is what's going to be an apartment building. So there are s basically seven apartments. Yeah, getting it ready for get rent. Um, this one is designed to be the owner's house, or the owner's apartment. The rest will go for the, uh, six apartments. There's four one-bedrooms, well, five one-bedrooms, although I may make this into a, a two-bedroom by giving it an upstairs, considering there's room. Because that wouldn't be a problem. So, just messing around, seeing what I can get done with these guys. Um, these certainly don't go where they are. Use 
there. You can go there. Let's do that there. All right. Let's actually put the hall table down here. Or should I put it in the middle? Maybe in the middle makes sense. Okay. Let's put a light in. Whoops. These areas. Okay. Do not need an outside table for the bedrooms. And don't need these for this. Cool. Alright. Now I just have to figure out a kitchen layout for all of these. Kitchen, dining, living layout for all of these little areas. Let's do the kitchenette first. about this. What if I switched and did the better ones? There we go. Let's get rid of this. if I did this this way. Um, I don't know what I deleted. Oh, I deleted an extra window, apparently. How many extra windows are there? Okay, you go there. That one can go away. You go there. There. Um. There. I 
think it makes more sense to have the kitchen on that side. And change this to their cooking counter. Now how am I going to put in the... Hmm. Gotta figure out... A living room. Of sorts. Unless, what if I? Put this over here. I could actually put in a kitchen table over here.
I feel like a half wall might help here. Just a little one. kitchen. This can go there. I need That's way too low. Okay, let's see what else we can do with the kitchen.
My only question is, do I want to put in a desk? If I turn that around, okay, this one. Also turn around. Alright, then I just need to Same place. Get rid of that. Hmm. Hold on. And put in Actually, that needs to be that way.
that in there. So I have the one apartment done here. Which gives me a good start on it. Sonic, how are you? Let's maybe do some finishing on this apartment. One thing I want them to have is a grill. Let's do this one. Outside seating. Can I give them hmm. I don't like that. How about this one? A nice place to lay out. Pretty well been a minute since I stopped by, have I been? I've been really good. I uh just got invited to the EA Creator Network last week, which is basically a early access program for all of the Sims packs. So that's why I am prepping for the new pack. Um, that doesn't go there. And the new pack is all about apartments. So, that's why I am putting this together. Not so high. Maybe I'll put this over here. What if I... S put this here? And that there. Exciting times to be a Sims player. Lots of buzz. Yes. They have um, brought in a whole bunch of new Creator Network people in the last couple weeks. Um, which is super exciting because a bunch of my friends got in too. I was pretty shocked to be included, but I appreciate it. So, and the new pack is kind of interesting. It looks like it's going to be a good one. But obviously, that remains to be fully seen. Alright. I think that apartment looks okay. This one's going to need some work. Obviously, I need to put in the kitchen. Just 
just making sure I don't have extra windows here, because I had extra windows over here. Which was weird. But that's okay. And downstairs... What are we doing on windows here? We're good there. How could they not include you? I appreciate that. Thank you for that thought. Um, let's put in that. This apartment is done. As far as I know, works. I'm gonna have to playtest this lot because I don't know if I playtested it before now. However, it's pretty cool. And then we have two little apartments down here. This one I might turn into a two bedroom by putting in an upstairs. Or I may leave it like a honeymoon suite type house. And then this one is another two bedroom. But that's pretty much what I've been doing, is getting ready for the next pack. And this is the community area. There's a kitchen and a place to eat. There's a laundry room. There's the front desk. Which is probably where I will put the mailboxes, I think. And then there's all this uh, other stuff over here that they can use to play. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really nice apartment building. Yeah, this is not my style much either. But I wanted it to look ex um, very beachy, kind of tropical. And when I made this, I was like, you know what, we'll go pastel, which is not my usual thing. My usual colors are more bright colors. This is a little bit more on my, my usual color scheme, this green one over here. But again, it's a little bit more tropical than I usually go. Seems like an apartment life didn't come out sooner. It seems like, yes, people have been asking for apartments in Sims 4 pretty much since the beginning. Um, they brought out some apartments with city living, but they still didn't give us the uh, ability to make our own apartments, which really rubbed some people the wrong way. Um, so the fact that they're bringing it out now is super exciting. The other thing that they've brought out recently that was a highly anticipated feature was horses. And some people are happy about it, some people are not. Um, but again, it was another one that was very high on the list. So I'm, I'm kind of excited for the future of Sims. I would like them to take some time and fix the bugs that they have inadvertently thrown in with a bunch of their um, additions because you can't add something new to a game without it doing something to the other packs that already exist and sometimes those things are positive some things are negative you can't 
troubleshoot everything when the game's as big as this is. But it would be nice for them to spend a little time, go back and fix some. Because there are a lot of bugs that have not been fixed. Or have been recently introduced. Um, but, you know, I have faith that they'll get to it. Because they are saying that Sims 4 will be around for quite a while. Even after 5 comes out, they're saying that uh, 4 will probably exist alongside 5. Which could be interesting. I don't know how that's going to work. But that's what they have said. I'm pretty happy with the way this is turning out. I think it's going to be a very nice apartment building. Left with some effort on polishing? Yes. I would be extremely happy if they took, say, a time period that they would normally be working on a new pack, take that two or three months and that particular team, and then have them work on the bugs. Um, and just do a bug squashing time and skip one pack. I mean, one pack would not affect anybody. And everybody's like, oh my gosh, game packs are dead. We haven't had one since last year. And it's like, okay, <laughs> it's fine. We've had two expansion packs this year instead. So, you know, there's, there's always the naysayers. But quality of life changes and some bug squashing. Exactly. Although, most of the stuff, the quality of life stuff, is there. It's just the bugs that are sometimes annoying. Because there are some packs that have been out for quite a while that still have some, some serious bugs. I don't agree with the fact that Dine Out is broken. But there is a pack, the Dine Out pack, for the restaurants. There's a lot of people that say that's broken. There are some bugs. The amount of time it takes to eat at a restaurant is a little exorbitant. Um, but other than that, I haven't found a whole lot of problems with it. I don't enjoy running my own restaurant. Um, but I didn't find it broken. I just didn't enjoy it. Um, but for the most part, I think things are pretty good with Sims. I've I've uh, taken a little bit little bit of a break in the last couple of weeks, um, mostly because I've been working on my website, which, let's be honest, has been a task in itself. Um, it's been in the same my website has been in the same host f since 2012, um, and I have approximately a thousand posts and more than 200 pages every single one has had to be relinked individually and that takes a lot of time and it's boring work because you have to be very very exacting and it's a huge site so um, however I will be this move um, allows me to do a lot of upgrades because the host I was on before didn't allow me to use plugins and stuff for my blog and now I will be able to so I'll have a forums I'll have um, a lot more I have a ton more control over the looks of the site which is something that's bothered me since oh since I started blogging so that's going to be really nice and it's going to shorten the links because it won't be a sub site of another person's site now it'll just be illusorythrall.com so that should be coming out in the next couple of weeks as I'm finishing stuff up I'm looking to launch it on the 26th so that should be get I should be able to get it done by then if not, it'll be up before December 1st. That's my goal. So. Pretty exciting. Let me do a save. 
So I am getting towards the end of this. I will be back on tonight. I'm going to be doing some Assassin's Creed Black Flag. And I will be doing that at about 6 p.m. tonight. Um, I'm really excited for it. It's been a while since I played it. I really am looking forward to getting back to it. And look, seeing how it looks on the new computer. I know it works. I've tested it. So it's ready to go. So let's... Let's see if we can't find somebody to raid. Let's find out who is out there. For now, let's see. Who's doing some Sims? Lots of people are doing Sims. That's who's doing Sims. Mm. Oh, interesting. I see somebody doing a game that I didn't know was out yet. That's interesting. Um, you know what? We're gonna go... Most of the people that are on are bigger people, but I think we're going to go see Snack, who is a sweetheart. Let me get them a shout out. And Tonic, it was really good to see you. Um... Let me give them a shout out. Let me switch to my ending screen. And again, I will be back in a couple of hours with Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I'm going to take a little break, get something to eat, take a little nap, maybe. Let me get my raid message up. And get this raid started. Go ahead and copy whichever whichever applies to you we're gonna go say hi to snack daddy sims who's working on a cute little cottage townhouse which i really like the looks of so we're gonna go say hi everybody have a good one if i don't see you later hopefully i will see you tomorrow for some more sims i have some more building to do and then next week i hope to get back into gameplay so i will see you all later Take care and love you all.